Hey everyone, welcome to the final round of the Tournament of Shame Golf with Friends edition. In the last round, I am facing none other than Michael A.L. Fox. Oh, What's going on? Uh, you know, I'm just, I've had a rough tournament. It's been hard. I'm hoping to redeem myself a little bit. Well, and, you, know, uh, you know what they say with every rough tournament. So right now, Northern Lions 4-0, Rackley Smiles 3-1, Bears 3-1, and, and you and Rob are fighting for the fourth playoff spot. So you guys are both 1-3. Did you beat Rob or did Rob beat you? I beat Rob. Okay. I'm confident. I'm pre- Nick beat me pretty easily. I'm pretty sure Nick will beat Rob. But, okay. you know, if I beat you, like, that's the clincher, right? That's correct. But, but I don't. I don't know what you got. I don't know what you got going on. Like I. I, I don't know how long you have played this. I'm well, a little scared. Well, here's the thing that you just made it interesting. So if I beat you and Nick beats Rob, I got an outside chance to to get in. Where I thought it was just you and Rob. A three way tie. Yeah. So then the three of us will have to play a match. We definitely would. I'm that, gonna that fight my. Interesting. I'm gonna fight my poutine off to try and make that happen. All right. Make that gravy extra thick. Uh, you ready to go? I'm I'm good to go. Hey, good luck, sir. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Um, so this is your first. This is our fifth tournament of shame. This is your first one. What are your thoughts so far? I I very much enjoy it. Uh, I like tournament style stuff. I've been doing it for years with my my uh, brothers, and uh, you know it's it's fun. Well, that was back on like N64 days, but like what kind of tournaments would you play as well, a kid? Well, mostly we would play like wrestling games. We do like. Um, We'd just make up a big old bracket and uh, and see how far we could go. But we do it with every game, like uh, you know F Zero X and, and different stuff like that. So doesn't to me, this is biased. I think a tournament makes any game infinitely more interesting. Oh, I agree. I agree absolutely. Because you know the it's like you get to build the hype. You know, there's like an objective. You know, you the eye is on the prize, man. Just doing random matches, like yeah, that can be fun. But like. I don't know. We got we just have a little bit of structure. A little bit of structure goes a long way. Yeah. Um uh, But uh so you've been having some fun, huh? I have. I, um you you I mean how are you, this this is a new game to you too, right? Yeah, like, so this is I played probably 10 minutes before oh. we started. Um but have you played this on the NLSS? I have um two or two or three of them. Um I mean I don't I don't hold a candle to Ryan and Nick, but um, How have you done on the NLSS? Um, I'm not sure if I've won any of them, but I've come very close. Like I've I made pretty good progress. Mm-hmm. But um, we did like a Team Canada versus Team USA a couple times, and that was really fun. We just like added up the scores. Who was the fourth? Well, for the one it was Cobalt. Okay. Um, and then just more recently it was uh, Jay Smith. Okay, and what who what was the uh? Who won, uh, Team Canada or Team USA? Team USA. I'm, Both I'm times? Not, I can't remember if we... I think we we beat... The first time, I think Ryan and I won one. Oh, because yeah. you're Canada. 2.5. Yeah, I'm, I'm Canadian, man. That's right. Where did you... Oh, you grew up in Ontario, right? Yeah, born and raised. In Mishawaka. In Mich- Mishawaka? Mississauga? You mean, no, I've never lived... I live near Mississauga, but I've... um. I've never lived in Mississauga. How many strokes do you have right now? One. Oh no. No, this this one I I could have laid it up definitely way better, but shit. Oh, you're so lucky. That's this this, this could have been a two putter for me. I feel like this is gonna be a, a the best match of the tournament. I mean, not best, most competitive. Most that was a great shot right there. Thank you. Yeah, I, I had to I had to do something. All right, this one I've I've hold in one more than once so let's see if i can get it again did you get it oh oh my god it's like three inches four inches at most give me those three inches all right f you so hard (laughs) all right we're we're even up we're we're, all all even this is the this is the dog fight right here with this whole five you know, I, to me, I, I I consider it a win-win whether uh, I win or lose because I would be so down the excitement of a three-way sudden death. Oh, can you imagine just the the poutine on the line for that? Gosh. What's poutine your favorite kind life. of poutine? Um. Oh, come on. You could have rolled. Uh, 
You know what? Honestly, I, I like... To me, there's nothing better than a straight-up traditional, just, like, well done to, like, every degree. Well, but if if I'm to kind of throw something extra in there, um, pulled pork poutine, man. Well, like, let me... Ask, for people that don't know, will you explain what poutine is? Because, you know, I have people that may not know what poutine is that watch my channel. Um, so poutine is uh, French fries, um, preferably like a russet potato. What's a russet? It's, a it's just it's the type of potato or whatever. It's like you know, good, hearty potato. It's not small. They're 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 rather large. Um, you want to blanch the fries. For people who don't know what blanching is, it's when you you basically kind of fr flash fry the French fries. And oh, you're a cheater! You're a cheater! How am I cheating? I don't know. It just looked glitchy there. I don't know. Some <laughs> kind of matrix. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what were you saying? So you blanch the fries, you flash fry them, let them sit for a little bit, and then you refry them again. And what that does is it makes them kind of cooked in the center, but not like overly cooked. And then the outside will be nice and crispy, so it's like it's good. You don't you don't want the soggy fries. Like when you say like not overly cooked in the middle, you like it raw in the middle? No, not raw. It's just like when you flash fry them, that generally cooks them through. But on the outside, they're still going to be kind of like a bit soggy. So when you let them sit and then, then you fry them again for good, that like, it just like, it, just, it does it. I don't know. I don't know the, the, the exact science behind it, but just type blanch into Google. It'll, it'll, it'll tell you all about that. A little blanch action, huh? A little blanch action. What hole is this? This is hole number eight. Number eight. Number eight. So what's been going on uh, life-wise with you? What do you? Have you been playing anything off camera? Um, off camera, dabbling in the witness a little bit. That's something I kind of feels like more of a personal experience. Uh-huh. Um, and what else? Um... Okay, I just gotta focus for two seconds here. Uh, Melfi's try hard in this. I can appreciate that. This 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 hole is a tricky one. Stay up. Oh, you jerk. Okay. How many strokes you got here? Oh yes. Oh no no no. Oh yes. Uh, that was my first stroke, and I stayed up. Stayed up, man. All right. I'm just trying to keep this one close here, Melfi. Sometimes you just gotta try and keep it close. Oh, I hit that way too hard. What You're stroke lucky. are you on right now? This is my third, and it should go in. Okay, so you, you plus two'd me on that one. All right, so you took the lead back by plus one. That's a good hole for you. <sighs> yeah, I needed that. Okay. You're going to see, I, I know your tactics here, Dan. What are my tactics? You ask me these questions. I get lost in the poutine. No, no, no. I, I'm yeah. seriously. No, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm honestly not doing that. But I can tell when I'm quiet, like I haven't been quiet this whole series. When I'm mm -hmm. quiet, then it's like you do better in the game. <laughs> But it's not. Okay. What are you doing right now? Where you at? I, I got a hole in one. You did. Yeah. That's not good. I mean, it's good for you. But this is a very easy hole in one. This is probably one of the most consistent hole in ones for most people. If once you once you know how hard to hit it, um, which you do apparently. Wow. All nice. Right. All right. Okay. 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 Jeez. Jeez. Louise. Hang for in somebody there. Uh, ten minutes, you're a natural, Dan. Hey, well, I gotta step my game up. As soon as I knew there's a playoffs uh, berth on the line, hey, I'm gonna give it the old Melfi try. The old college try, Melfi try. Yeah. Oh shit, that. Oh. Okay. Actually, you know what? That could be okay. So, what was your strat on this one? You just tried to. Uh, give the I don't. It's. Uh, I just always try to lay it up on the left side, and let the let the little. Uh, Spinnaker, take it. Spinnaker, you know, take me a little bit, push me, push me in, Come and on. then, then I just pound it. What did you two stroke this? Uh, three stroke. I, I, I hit the, I hit the, the cup. I rim jobbed it. I could have had two, but it was a little too hard. So you hit the the three piece on this one. Three piece suit. Okay. Did you, did you own a three piece suit? Oh shoot. Uh no, I'm uh you know I got the jacket and pants and. And all that stuff. Three piece. That's just too much, man. What's your go-to suit? Are you a blue guy, a tan guy, a black guy, a pinstripe guy? I I, I prefer uh like a, a dark, like almost like a navy, navy blue, 
okay. preferably, or like a dark, darkish gray, or not even a medium gray. This is not too shabby, but. Um, um, let me ask this. What's the story with your hat? Because I've been watching you on the Roundtable podcast and on your <laughs> streams. You always got the hat on. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, I just started it one time for whatever reason, and I like it. And now when I don't wear it when I'm streaming, you know how, like, if, say, you have a ring or a watch or something, you take it off? Yeah. Or, like, you don't have your wallet, you almost feel naked? Yeah. That's pretty much how it's gotten to me. I feel naked without it. It just something doesn't feel right, so. It's like your broadcasting hat. Pretty much. You Mr. Splint, you jackass! No. Oh, sorry, did that come up? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's all, all fair in love and, and golf. I, it's a line from. Have you ever seen Happy Gilmore? Happy Gilmore. Dan, oh, listen, who you're talking to? I don't know. I'm the movie master. I know, but okay? they don't have movies in Canada. I watched. I literally two weeks ago, I watched Happy Gilmore for probably close to the twentieth time. The twentieth. That's a. To me, I think that's the best. Well, it's my. I don't say best. It's my favorite Sandler movie. What about yours? It's yeah. It's my favorite. I. Uh, I really like. Um, uh, like you know, Big Daddy and Mr. Deeds a lot too. They're 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 fun stuff. But I've never seen Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds is 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 pretty good. I mean, you talk to Ryan and he'll say it's garbage, but it's 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 nice. I mean, is that the one with the black foot? Yeah, he's got the frostbite, frostbitten foot. Okay. And he wins like he gets forty billion dollars from his his uncle. His dead uncle. Oh, no. It's like a telecommunications mogul. You just took, you took a commanding lead there. What am I at? I didn't. Oh, I shouldn't have even looked. You know what? That's why is that like? I don't know. I feel like because uh, I play golf in real life, right? And um, you play golf in real life? Oh heck yeah, buddy! That's why I want to win this because like if we went out on the real greens, I would spank your bottoms. Really? Did you play in like? Um, high school and stuff or like what it, no you... I picked it up when I was working one summer um, uh, we were building one of our power plants and you know it's pretty pretty hectic work and so every week we always made the the effort to get out for a round of golf so um, you know we'd we'd have 10 12 guys going and um, I was like oh shoot I um Decided to get get the, some some cheap clubs and oh no it's oh this is bad Dan. So well, tell me about these clubs. Well they're Wilson Pro Staff nothing nothing extraordinary but they get the job done, and we just I played every week oh god oh god. And that's you know I just I like it it's it's frustrating sometimes because you you feel like you're getting better and then you have a bad day. What um, can, can you work your driver? Are are you able to actually? Connect on um, it? Lately, uh, my driver has been my A game. It used to be my 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 clubs were my thing, but now my driver, I'm I'm pretty good. I'm I'm I'm, some, I'm a smaller guy, right? But I've 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 kind of got the technique down. So when you get the poutine behind you on that, oh, the great shot! I needed that. Did you just see what happens? Look at you're beating me by one now. I don't I don't look at the score, Malf. I just put my head down and try to play the game <laughs> no um when you get like your when you get a legit crack at it what do you drive in like two-ish two um yards? yeah like too too easy um lately i've been getting closer to you know to i mean if i on a on a good drive i can get it closer to 250 i mean for me that's that's really good but 250 um, yeah, that's, that's like, really that, good. That's kind of closer to like you know that'll be my drive of drive of the day kind of thing. Um, but usually I'm probably closer to two twenty, two thirty. Um, you're you're gonna beat me on this hole. This you're you're gonna make up so. M oh no, Dan, you're you're gonna win unless you really crap the bed. Uh, I've I've been known to do that. So th I mean this thing's gonna be wide open. Just just letting you know. All right. How many strokes are you on here? I just took my fourth, and I'm not even close. That's all right, Michael. That's How many? You're in on three? No, I birdied that, so I'm at one under. So I have four. I have four, four banged it. Okay. But that, I mean, that means nothing. Like this, this is gonna be, this is gonna come down to the last hole. I, I can assure you that. 
But I, I noticed that you're changing up your style on him. Like Kanye West. Change up the style. That was clutch for you right there. I really needed that. That was clutch time. That was clutch city. That's living in the streets of Toronto, going to <sighs> library pub. <laughs> library taverns? A library, library tavern? tavern, yeah. So have we told the story ever? I don't know. I mean I, I tell people like quite frequently that I've hugged you and your wife, but you know, I didn't I didn't tell them where it was because most people probably don't know where the library tavern is, but But it, what about those burgers though? Well you had the burger, I didn't have the burger, I had the fish and chips, which is delicious. And, but you regret not getting the burger. I kinda regret not getting the burger. I'm I haven't been back yet. I oh Did you oh That's the first time I've ever done that. That's this is not good. Yeah, I gotta I gotta go all out on this now. Okay, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet, even though the burger's at the Oh no. Nope. Alright. We're gonna have a three-way. We're gonna have to do a sudden death, man. Alright, let's go! This is the best I played on the whole tournament, just so you know. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, well, well now... this is the sixteenth hole. I just gotta keep it together. Two more holes, Melvin. This is keep actually normally a hole where I make up. You know, if I'm if I'm losing, yeah, this is like you. I can make up strokes. Up. Yeah. Ooh, that was big for you right there. You got. Well, I'm telling you, this is gonna come down to the last hole, Melfi. You say so. So tell me about this. Um, well, tell me something I don't know about Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. I don't know what do I, like. What like, do you know about it? I, I've seen it. Well, I could only watch a couple seconds. What well, just happened you there? Say that? Don't you say that. Yeah, I don't know how that physically happened. You have to watch a whole movie. It's only 18 minutes. 18 minutes? Like, I can watch uh, uh, The Prophet on CNBC for that. <laughs> That's one of my favorite shows. You ever watch it? No, I've never even heard of it. Oh, well, you probably have, like, a, oh, that was a great shot. You probably have a Canadian <gasps> version of it called, like, Yeah, Yeah, Revenue or something, right? Yeah, Revenue. It's, it's a money show? It's a, this guy, Marcus Lemonis, goes into these, like, um, def not defunct, but struggling businesses. And he comes in and he just, like, fixes them up. That was a good hole for you. No, I, 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 I when I played Rob, I one hole that, or hole in one. You did, really? Yeah, I did. I just, I literally, I missed it by, I overshot by the tiniest bit. Give me a little, give me some of that tininess. Give, uh... me, give me some tiny. This is gonna be. You can do it. You can power through that corner. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. You can power through it. I'm just gonna Wayne's code it there. Wayne's code it. Okay. Wayne's world it. Wayne's world. Melf, what's your favorite movie of all time? Uh, favorite movie is probably the Shawshank Redemption. Really? It's just timeless for me. Uh, Count of Monte Cristo's up there, and I've never. You know, that's with Leo. No, no, it's with um. That's Man in the Iron Mask. Yeah, that's Man in the Iron Mask. Um, it's got um, Guy Pierce in it, and this other guy I can't remember his name of. Guy Fieri. <laughs> guy Fieri. I wish. Guy Pierce. He hasn't done a movie since like the nineties. No, he did Memento. He that did. That was um, like two thousand. Yeah, and he was in the Hurt Locker for a bit. He was in Iron Man three. He Come was. Come on, man. I don't see. I don't watch those superhero movies. You, well. You gotta. Come on, just just ease it in. Oh, this is tough. I'm going right into the mouth of Dexter right here. Uh, oh, I got a bogey. Don't oh. worry. Oh. All right. You're you're ten strokes ahead. So is this like, the last hole? Yeah. Okay. So you if you twelve stroke this, I'll be pretty happy. Just tap it in. Just tap so, it. So if Nick let Rob win, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Nice, nice job, Melfi. Good game. I, I really, sh I shouldn't have played so bad. Where do you think that? I mean, where do? You, what's your best? Wh what should you shoot on the, the forest? Um, I should. Well, last time I shot fifty, and I thought that was bad for me. Okay. I should be. Sh I probably mid mid forties. Okay, because fifty is by far my world record. That's good. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, you got that that cheat sheet there to, to really help you out. What are you but, talking uh, about? Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> cheat sheet? <laughs> Cheater. What? What are you talking about? I don't think I don't know. What do you? You're. I mean, you're gonna come out here and make an accusation <laughs> and not substantiate it. Listen, I got I got two people that fingered you. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Two people. What I do in my personal time has nothing to do with you calling me a cheater. What do you mean by that? They fingered you. I you've don't got know. All, you've got all the power. You know how hard to hit it, where to hit it. It's where okay, would I Dad. get something like that from? Uh, Maybe Mr. Northern Lion. What, what makes you think he would have something like that to share? And then on top of that, why would he share it with me? Because the scum lord just wants to watch the world burn. And he feels you're not a threat because even though you do have the cheat sheet, you know, maybe you don't have the touch, but it still gives you, it's okay. It's okay. Wow. Well, at least you got a taste of the touch. How do you like that, Melf? You know what? I'm going to take you and Rob down at the same time. Okay. And okay. I'm going to cover your lifeless corpses in gravy and stuff your mouth with cheese curds and and put some french fries in your ears. Sounds like fun. It's all a good fun, and Melfi and I had a good <laughs> time here. Be sure to, I'll have uh, Michael L. Fox's channel in the description below. Be sure to go over and, and show some love. He's playing some Dankus Dungeon right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it was fun, Melfi. Likewise, yeah, you know, you guys, uh, if you don't know who Dan is, you're kind of crazy. I'm talking to a, 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 a big brother. Whoa. Winner here. Whoa. He's a big, he's a big guy. All right, thank you guys for watching, and um, hopefully we'll either either Rob will be in the playoff. No, yeah, either if Rob won, he's in the playoff. Otherwise, we'll have a three-way tiebreaker for you, and we don't know if that's going to happen yet. But stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Toodles.